Weeds are important sources of allergenic pollen, especially in the late summer and fall. Allergenic weed species are common throughout the U.S. from the northeast to the southwest and can be found in empty lots, farm fields, marshes, and deserts. Ragweed is the most important of the weed allergens and is most common in the east, south, and midwest, although several species of ragweed are found in the western United States. The ragweed genus is Ambrosia. Short ragweed, Ambrosia artemisifolia, is a huge seasonal allergen east of the Rocky Mountains. Short ragweed is an annual plant and has these very finely divided leaves. Early in the summer, flower buds form on the short ragweed plant, and as these mature, they release pollen from late July until the first hard frost. Giant or tall ragweed is especially abundant in the southern United States, although it is common in the Midwest as well. Tall ragweed, Ambrosia trifida, has large leaves with three to five lobes. Tall ragweed plants can get quite large and produce vast quantities of pollen. Tall ragweed male flowers are yellow where the anthers are producing pollen. The pollen on these leaves has fallen from the flowers and will be dispersed by the wind. In many locations, short and tall ragweed plants occur side by side. Western ragweed is common in the southwest and western United States. Unlike short and giant ragweed species, western ragweed is a perennial plant that comes back from the same rootstock year after year. This field in Texas is almost solid western ragweed. Artemisia species are found throughout the U.S. In the east, south, and midwest, the most common species of artemisia are called mugwort. In the west, many artemisia species are known as sagebrush. Mugwort has finely divided bright green leaves. Mugwort is a perennial plant. The brown stalks sticking up above the leaves in this photo are last year's flower stalks. As with other allergenic plants, the flowers of mugwort are not very showy, but they are abundant and produce large quantities of pollen. Mugwort and short ragweed often grow side by side. In the western states, most artemisia species are called sagebrush. California sagebrush is one common species, and another species is Artemisia tridentata, which is large or common sagebrush. This species is a common allergen in arid regions. Marsh elder plants are related to ragweed. Marsh elder is not nearly as common as ragweed, but can sometimes be found in large populations. Another species related to ragweed and mugwort is cocklebur, which is common in agricultural areas. Many allergists use cocklebur extracts in their skin test panels. However, cocklebur plants do not produce great quantities of pollen, and sensitivity on skin testing may be due to cross-reactivity with ragweed. Many patients believe that they are allergic to goldenrod, which is related to ragweed and mugwort. However, goldenrod is insect pollinated and rarely releases significant amounts of pollen into the air. Goldenrod flowers at the same time that ragweed does, and people attribute their symptoms to the goldenrod rather than to the ragweed. Amaranthus or pigweed species are not related to the ragweed group. Several species of amaranthus grow throughout the United States and they are all cross-reactive. This group has several common names, including pigweed, careless weed, and amaranth. One of the most common species is rough or red root pigweed. It produces greenish flowers, which are not very distinctive, but produce large quantities of pollen. Another species of amaranth is careless weed. Careless weed produces long flower stalks that release abundant pollen. Another group of weeds is in the family Chenopodiaceae. This group is often called simply chenopods. The plants in this family are related and are largely cross-reactive with each other. A number of chenopods are found throughout the United States. Lamb's quarters is a common weed. Its scientific name is Chenopodium album. The flowers are small but produce quite a lot of pollen. The leaves are distinctive being diamond-shaped with a gray cast. Russian thistle is also known as tumbleweed. This plant is common in the southwest. Russian thistle produces tiny white flowers that, despite their size, produce abundant, potent pollen. Another genus in the chenopod group 
is Atroplex. There are many species that have many common names. They are found in beach areas and in arid regions. Several Atroplex species have common names that include the word scale. This is a photograph of spear scale. A few other weeds found throughout the United States are often used for skin testing, although they don't usually reach the population levels of the weeds mentioned previously. Species of Rumex have the common names of dock or sorrel. These flower in the spring, unlike many of the other weeds. Dock sorrel plants do not flower for a very long period of time, and after they've flowered, they dry up and produce a recognizable dark brown plant. Another common weed that's used in allergy testing panels across the United States is English plantain. This plant is a common weed in lawns and in parts of the Midwest can be found in quite dense stands.